In this video, I want to show you how you can install and run Windows 8.1 on your Windows 10 machine using Hyper-V Manager. You need three steps to do this. The first step is to download the Windows 8.1 image. You also need a license key for Windows 8.1. The second step is to enable Hyper-V on your Windows 10 machine. And the third step is to create the virtual machine and then install Windows 8.1. Let's start with the first step. Open your web browser to download Windows 8.1 and go to this website, microsoft.com software-download slash Windows 8 ISO. I'm going to put the links in the description and hit enter. And here scroll to select your edition of Windows 8.1. Here I'm going to choose simply Windows 8.1 and then click on confirm. And then here it will ask you to select the product language. In my case, I'm going to select English. Of course, select the language you want. And then click on Confirm. And then it will give you the download link. So here I'm going to download the 64-bit version. So click on 64-bit download. And as you see here, Windows 8.1 ISO starts downloading. It's a 4 gigabyte file, so it might take a while. I'm going to cut this video and come back when the download finishes. After the download finishes, you need to enable Hyper-V on your Windows 10 machine if it is not already enabled. If you have other virtualization software that is already installed on your Windows 10 machine like VMware Workstation or VirtualBox, instead of enabling Hyper-V, you can use these software to create the VM. So jump to step 3 and follow the instructions there. Of course, use the instructions that are equivalent to your virtualization software. Please note that Hyper-V doesn't work on Windows 10 Home. It only works on Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, and Education. So here in my case, I have Windows 10 Education. I'm gonna enable Hyper-V. If you wanna know how to enable Hyper-V in details, you can look at my video in the description on how to do this. So I'm gonna do it very quickly here. In the search box type features, hit enter, and then scroll until you see Hyper-V selected, click OK, and then click on Restart Now to restart your computer. When the computer restarts, Hyper-V is installed now, so we need to launch Hyper-V Manager. In the search box here, type Hyper-V Manager and hit Enter. Hyper-V Manager will be opened, so now we need to create a new virtual machine. On the right here, click on New, and then select Virtual Machine, and then click on Next. Let's name it Windows 8.1. You can name it, of course, whatever you want. Click on Next. Keep it on Generation 1. Click on Next. For the memory, if your host allows it, give it a little bit more memory. I'm going to give it here 2 gigabytes, so it's 2048 megabytes. Click on Next. For the internet connection here, or the networking connection, select the default switch, and then click on Next. And here, this is a virtual hard disk. 127 gigabyte is too much. I'm just gonna give it here 20 gigabyte. And click on Next. And for the installation options here, you need to click on Install an Operating System from a bootable CD DVD ROM. And then click on Image File. And choose the downloaded ISO that we've downloaded earlier. So click on Browse. And wherever you downloaded it, go to this folder. Here I downloaded it in the Downloads folder and then choose the ISO file and then click on Open and then click on Next. And here's everything ready to be started. So just click on Finish and then click on Connect and then click on Start. So the Windows machine now, the Windows 8.1 machine will start from the ISO file and here it is starting 
and the setup will start. So I'm gonna walk you through the setup very quickly. It's just a Windows 8.1 setup. So for the language, I'm gonna keep everything English. Of course, choose the language you want, click on next, and then click on install now. On this screen, you need to enter the product key for Windows 8.1 installation. Usually, you can find this product key either on an old PC, like it's a label on the PC, or also, if you have it elsewhere, just enter it here. I'm going to enter mine. Of course, enter yours. Once you enter your product key, click on Next. And here, read the agreement if you want. And then click on Accept the License Terms. Click on Next. And then you need to choose Custom Install Windows Only. And then here, leave everything by default. This is a virtual disk. So click on Next. Please note that the virtual machine will restart several times while the installation is going on. So now I'm going to accelerate the video and come back when the installation finishes. After the initial installation phase finishes, you are prompted to restart the computer. You can either choose either to wait for it to restart by itself or just click on restart now. When the VM restarts, it will prompt you to start from the CD if you press any key. So of course, don't press a key. So let it start from the hard disk. At the first restart, the configuration will continue. At this stage here, you need to put the PC name. So I'm going to just name it simply KSTPC. And then, of course, you can name it whatever you want. And then click on Next. And I'm going to choose Express Settings. For the Microsoft account, I'm going to create a local account. So click here on Create a new account. And then click on Sign in without a Microsoft account. And create the account you want. I'm going to also create an account called KST. I'm not going to give it a password. If you want to give it a password, of course, go ahead. And then click on Finish. And the setup will continue. The first start takes about five minutes to complete. So be patient and let it complete. And here's the setup completed. So this is Windows 8.1 running within Windows 10 on a VM in Hyper-V. So let me start, for instance, Internet Explorer to see if it's working. I'm going to click on the start menu just to show you the Windows 8.1 start menu. So this is the Metro start menu as Microsoft called it when they released Windows 8. And this is Internet Explorer. Let me open it. And you see that it's opening msn.com and it is working. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.